All right, y'all, let's try this LaMarca Prosecco. I feel like I always talk about LaMarca and how it is my go-to sparkling wine, but I never reviewed it for you guys. And I feel like people kind of want to know the tasting profile so they know why it is my go-to. So let's try it out for y'all. They say when you, use, when you drink sparkling wine or champagne, you should use a big glass because it like lets all of the bubbles and the effervescence. Nah, no, fuck that. Not doing that. I'm using my regular flute like I used to. I think flutes are fancy. I could use a wine glass for whatever wine I want to do later in life. But right now, we flute it up. All right, so already, smell it. Stone fruits, very, very crisp. My go-to, okay, go-to. Here we go. Cheers. Nice little kiss of citrus right at the beginning. And then it mellows out. You get a little bit of peach, stone fruit, um, little honeysuckle. But it's just, I don't know, light and refreshing. It always reminds me of just like happy times. So maybe it's just a bottle that I discovered when I was in a fun place in life. And I don't know, it's just like my go-to. Whenever I'm like, mm, I want something sparkling and I don't want to spend too much, um, but I want quality. I'm going with LaMarca every time. I know, listen, I need LaMarca to sponsor me because I'm talking about them real heavy. I need y'all to send me a little something, something if y'all see this, okay? They even have a rosé, which is fire. I don't know why. Usually it's a dollar more than the traditional LaMarca, which is between like 12 to 14, depending on where you're buying it. But LaMarca, hit me up, baby, because... <laughs> Mrs. Congo loves it, all right? But yeah, so if you need something that's a go-to, not too sweet, um, always gonna be quality regardless of where or when you buy it, get yourself some Lamarca, baby. There you go, cheers.